Hi, Leo. Some sage to cleanse the space. Thank you, Spirit. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Leo. If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. Leo, my name is Greta. I am an intuitive reader. I do look at your zodiac sign. I look at the stars, the moons, and the planetary placements to get a good idea of the energy. But I do rely on intuition during my readings. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. What would you like Leo to know or to be aware of during or for this reading? Leo, if this is your first time tuning in, a little bit about the layout of this reading. When we look at that first row, that top row, we will be looking at your uh, public life, your professional life, and the energy that is surrounding you there. The second row is your private life, your personal life, and the energy that is surrounding you there. This third row, this final row, is final thoughts, final messages, final takeaway. What is it that Spirit would like you to take away from this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. And let's just get these lined up here. Leo, the foundation, the basis of your reading this week is the Four of Swords. Taking a break, taking a pause, really taking time to reconsider and ponder and that is backed by the seven of wands being guarded, being protective, having our guard up and taking a break, taking a time out and reconsidering our options. And let's see how that plays into the rest of your cards this week, Leo. We start off with the Ten of Cups, new beginnings, fresh starts, new beginnings that are emotionally fulfilling. The Chariot card, champion, champion, winning the crowd. Someone stubborn? The High Priestess. Not all is as it seems. Thinking, planning. This card has really come up quite a bit this week in readings, Leo. Thinking, planning, the energy, the environment, and cancer season officially started um, the 20th of this month. And when cancer season started this year, it's really coming in with um, a lot of emotion attached to it. And so everyone is experienced, experiencing heightened emotions at this time. And because everyone is experiencing those heightened emotions, they're wondering and planning how to process that, how to use that. 
how to process, how to use that. There's anyone and everyone makes mistakes. And in business or in our professional life, most mistakes are caused by miscommunications. And you've been working with someone that is having a hard time understanding what is expected of them, or you're having a hard time communicating with this person of what it is that is wanted or what it is that is needed. And because of this miscommunication, um, you've kind of put your guard up. You've kind of stepped back. You've kind of just stepped out of the situation. What is called for at this time in this situation is for you to clearly express yourself and for you to repeat back to them what you believe that you have heard. what you believe that you have heard. I don't believe that this person sees or understands how deceptive or how their words are being misunderstood. And you can bring clarity to this situation by letting them know how you understood the situation or how you understood the words. By you bringing clarity to the situation, it's going to save a lot of time and it's going to get the situation back on track. And then we have the Five of Wands, Chaos. This organization, but nothing that we can't manage, nothing that we can't handle. The King of Pentacles, the richest card in the deck. Boy, this is a mixed bag here, isn't it? And then we have the Nine of Swords. Stress, unhappiness, worry. And then we have the Empress card. Time for creativity. Time to master. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. There is a conflict. There is a miscommunication here. And what this conflict needs, what this miscommunication needs, is some lightheartedness. And again, we're looking back at this final few days, this final week or two of June, and the energy that cancer is bringing in for us this year, that as the end of the month rolls around, everyone has a lot on their mind. And everyone is really trying to work through any emotional um, baggage that they may have. And their emotions are just so heightened that we just really need to lighten 
the moon or lighten the excuse me lighten the mood you know if an argument occurs for no apparent reason don't make a big deal over it and you'll be the one or you both everyone will be able to laugh about it later it's like it's a situation is coming up um, a potential argument is coming up that is really seemingly going to be over nothing other than it's the energy that is surrounding everyone as we close out or we come to the end of June. And we can avoid any heartache, any stress by really just not being sucked into that energy, by being aware of the emotional rawness that is happening to us all during this time and to really keep things light and to not take things so seriously and when we don't take things so seriously it's easier to look back and laugh the two of cups togetherness, coupleships, partnerships, friendships, moving to the future, following our passions, following our desires, the emperor card, sticking to our choices, making a choice and sticking to it. The four, having our guard up, be on guard, be on the lookout for, uh, you know, those heightened emotions. Your creative imagination can work for you or it can work against you. Imagination is fed by our emotions and our feelings and even the energy that we're creating and the energy that is surrounding us. And we, when people have suppressed energy, it can turn into anger and frustration or even in some situations it can turn into violence and art can really help us channel that energy channel that energy from being anger and frustration into being beautiful and creative. There, there is a form of art that you participated in, that you made, that you created in your past, that you let go of, or that you no longer practice. But now is the time to put our energy into creating art. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Leo. Thank you, Leo. You have a blessed week.